true community, I believe, arises from being of service together. Very important for me to not come here as a Westerner and settle here and do whatever you want. Instead, be somebody who, who is of service to this whole area. I'm feeling very, very humbled by this process. So maybe later if you already buy it, so we can also meet with the our government village and Balinese traditional village. Make sure what mm -hmm. what do you want to do. So we prepare like a little bit what we are planning to do, like a yeah. little concept, and then we can present. Present uh, what for we, them. Yeah. The lawyer said that. Um, here, here. Yeah, there's coffee. Do you want to go there? Yeah. 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 You can go there. You want to go? Papa. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Okay. <laughs> yeah. How you will be boiled here, just like a semi-permanent or still, still with the nature, because you see, like sangiri. That's what we want to do, like the same. Yeah, yeah. We don't want to build like any big concrete. Yeah. We will preserve all that, even more trees, like more grow, trees. Even, even more, yeah. even more nature, but like some little, little house in between. Yeah. So if you, if it, it, so maybe when you want to make. To build a small house or anything else. She is here. Okay, where is she and from? He's from Jaffa, okay. West Jaffa. Mm -hmm. And also another place there, the big house there. When we go back in the, the right side. The German family, you mean? Yeah, the yeah, German yeah, family, yeah. but yeah. the girl still yeah. the girl there. Yeah, 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 I know. That. So he also, a citizen here. Mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. Papa! So with, uh, oh. oh, that's not right yet, huh? Still green. <laughs> still green, not good. You need to take, you need to pick the red one, huh? Yeah, so that that's why I told you. So we, you just thinking about that with your lawyer, or you ta da, ta da, ta da. <laughs> Rudy, huh? Rudy's leaving. Rudy and Nia. Good morning, friends. What you just witnessed was the huh? next step in our journey of how manifesting our. Dream place, Castodia. <laughs> we are standing next to the next to the land we want to build on, and these guys, very good guys, um, Rudy and Nia, they are supporting us in the process of um, making that possible and to navigate like all the local intricacies and what is important. And yeah, very grateful to have their support. Great guys. Um, they play football too. <laughs> We really, really enjoy like getting, uh, getting into into the football game and uh, in the process connect with the local people. Last time we had so much fun. So yeah, things are progressing. Things are not. It's it's not as straightforward as if you would like in Germany. You just like negotiate a price and then you go to the notary and then you pay and then it, that's it. So here we first need to get a. Uh, we need to present our concept, what we set out to do, um, because. Of course, it's not not uh, not suitable to build like a five-story big concrete house here because we are really like in the. Yeah? You see that all around me, it's like, just like green beauty. So this is not the place to build like big houses, but really small, really like beginning with a tent. Maybe afterwards having a bamboo little cabin or a wooden cabin. Or something built out of clay, rammed earth, like really natural material, something like that is totally doable, and we need to present that um, to the to the head of the head of the village and head of the regency, and they need to um, give their approval, and then afterwards we can start. So, will be uh, an interesting process of a steep learning curve, and I feel very very supported by these two guys. Grateful for that. Yeah, that's one thing that's very important for me to not come here as a as a Westerner and like just like settle here and do whatever you want, but really immerse myself in the local culture and really connect and not be an intruder, but instead be somebody who who is of service to this not only to this land but to this whole area. Custodianship not only for 
our little piece of land, but custodianship for this beautiful area. Yeah. That's the intention, to design a system that works for all components, that works for us, that works for the local village, that works for the natural ecosystem here, that works for all people coming here to Custodia to make important um, and transformative experiences. And yeah, I'm feeling very, very humbled by this process to be able to do that really it really gives me a feeling of humility. I honor that deeply. You got some papaya? Papaya, papaya. Oh, that's not papaya. That's cassava. Papaya, papaya. Look at this beauty. Look at this incredible view of this space. Huh? Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah. It's so beautiful here, huh? How beautiful. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Two cows, yeah, big one. Yeah, and the woman very friendly, very friendly with the baby, animals. Baby, baby. Is it the baby? Yeah. But pretty big baby, huh? Mama, mama. Yeah. Ah! What else do you have? Oh, another butterfly. Yeah, it's a cat caterpillar and the butterfly, huh? The caterpillar is growing yeah. into the butterfly. There's one more butterfly. The butterfly tra stands for transformation. Yeah. yeah, they are flying. Very beautiful, huh? Yeah. Yeah, this stands for the coming of age of humanity. Have you seen the baby? Look, the baby with mommy. Baby in the sling. Yeah, he may be the same age as you. Maybe a little bit younger even. Yeah, there's a little boy. And the kids playing together. That's so nice, huh? Looking forward to meet many more kids. Mama! For playing together, yeah, mommy's taking care of. Here. Yeah. Baby. Mommy with her baby. Mommy! A fire. Hot fire, huh? Fire is hot, yeah. Oh. Fire is very hot. But very cozy too, when you can sit around the fire. <coughs> ah, who is that? This is you and me, huh? Coffee! Yeah. Daddy and Leo. Coffee? Yeah. Oh, yo, yo, you're picking some coffee, huh? You remember when we shot this photo? You wanted to pick some coffee, that's right. I remember coffee? too. Coffee? Coffee, yeah. Sure. Coffee, yeah, we went with the bike. Yeah, and then we picked the coffee. I remember too. Yeah. Oh, you like it, right? Yeah. The red coffee beans, they are very delicious. By far, my biggest driver for Estudia, the space that we are building. In Paradigm living space, I found my biggest driver is this little one sleeping behind me. And all the children of the upcoming generations he represents. The last words of my book, Gaia's Custodians, that I published a couple of months ago, the last words in this book are my dedication of this piece of sacred work to him with the comment of may we as adults someday hand over a world to the next generation that is not fucked where they are able to witness as much beauty and as much thriving as much abundance as we witnessed when we were growing up. And when I look at the current state of the world, I sense that the development is going in a, in a different direction. And more and more of the natural beauty is destroyed and converted into cold, hard money. The driver behind my work to create a future that works not only for Leo, but for the next seven generations. Like this design criteria for building Custodia to create a space that actually contributes to the thriving of the next seven generations, not just for Leo, not just for his children, not just for his grandchildren, not just for his great-grandchildren, but actually for the next seven generations, which is a time horizon of a couple of hundred years. Really embarking on your projects with that big of a perspective makes it impossible to do something that is not in, a, not in alignment with the thriving of the whole. It makes things pretty challenging. And at the same time, I feel that it's the only way forward. Because this is what we as adults are asked for. To give all our gifts wholeheartedly into this world and serve, serve, like at our maximum, maximum capabilities. In order to raise the probabilities of this extraordinary shift that's taking place right now, happening in time before we irreversibly destroyed more and more of 
a natural ecosystem. with my dad, my partner in bringing this special place into reality, Custodia. Very beautiful process. Things are progressing, friends. Things are really getting into motion, into development right now. So beautiful to see. I sense that the true foundation for community, something that each one of us is longing for, the true foundation for that is to be of service together like the tie between me and my dad that is getting only stronger and stronger through our co-creation in this project is getting stronger because we are both coming from the standpoint of let's give our gifts here let's contribute and let's create something that is truly beautiful and truly truly important not just for ourselves but for all the stakeholders involved for all the parts of the system if we were to come from the standpoint of what's in it for me well how can i benefit as much as possible then would we would be perpetuating the old paradigm real estate projects like a bunch of white dudes coming here and exploiting and taking advantage uh, of the of the of the possibilities here and through that no true community could arise because true community, I believe, arises from being of service together. All the community things out there, like watching a movie together or attending a sports event together, like cannot foster true community because we are just consuming together. If we are consuming together, that's, that can be nice too. But true community, true belonging, true companionship, true camaraderie, can only arise through being of service together, through together putting the shared gifts to contribute to something we are both believing in. This is the foundation for true community. Hmm. So I see the whole energy of Custodia, of this special place that we are bringing into reality, this whole energy of like everybody, not just me and my dad, as like the pioneers, but everybody who will be a part of this project comes with an attitude of, I want to contribute my gifts into this space. And sure, there will be nice things arising for me, but what's in it for me is not the main driver. Because if I'm coming from the standpoint of what's in it for me, I will never find true community. Friends, it's in the middle of the night. <laughs> I brought the vision board because we have a very special call right now. A couple of uh, weeks ago, I started a group. I invited two handful of uh, people from my network who are all um, starting um, or growing their current land projects, community villages, eco villages, um, people who are um, building spaces like the ones that, uh, like the one that uh, we are going for here in Bali, like in many different places of the world. And, in Europe, South America, Asia, and I brought these people to, together, these pioneers, in order to share resources, uh, support each other, learn from each other, um, and to really, yeah, make the embark on this journey together. Although we are all like each one of us is doing that in, in a different part of the world, and uh, we're coming together in regular calls, and today is. As one of them and we're kicking off this journey by a series of presentation which one of us shares um, about the project they are on today is my turn i'm going to speak about custodia i'm very curious what might, what might emerge out of that um, it's always a beautiful 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 um, opportunity to talk about these things with uh, people who really get it like who really get it yeah like oh yeah Diving into this full complexity of all the different components that come together, I would really like to explore that. That always lights my heart on fire. So let's dive in. <laughs>